It's currently 6 a.m. and we've just arrived in Brisbane. If you're wondering about spiders in Australia, yeah, they just chill in the trees like this. For our first stop in Brisbane, we headed straight to the riverside to an area called South Bank. Safe to say, we were pretty impressed. We just come up to the big Brisbane side, it's really cool, really colourful. For some reason, this closed off. Normally, you can like go close to them, can't you? And like take a picture. Yeah, I think so. But I don't know, for some reason, it's closed off. I know, it's still pretty cool though. I just love how in Australia you have the cool like skyscraper skyline all the way along in all the cities. Like we don't really have them in the UK, maybe in London, but not really where we're from. We don't often go to London either. So we just get really excited when we see them. It's just a cool little like feature to all the cities, isn't it? And it's really cool to like shoot in the video and get pictures of. Yeah, it always just does look really, really cool. Like, come on, just... Look at it, how cool is that? Also, there's always like a breeze down by the water and it's just... Really nice to keep it cool because... Yeah, because Australia's so hot. Yeah, it's like 30 degrees today, but it doesn't feel as hot because there is just like a nice breeze with the water. Yeah, I don't want to be have got Factor 50 on. That is a that is a common comment in the comment section. I, Please wear Factor 50, wear sun cream, wear sun cream. I forgot to put any on today. I have sun cream on. We've made it now to a South Bank pool and beach. Now, I heard of the beach, but I didn't know there was a pool as well. This thing's totally free. Completely free, such a good idea because Brisbane's not really close to any of the beaches, probably about an hour away, but they've literally made a beach in the middle of the city. Right next to the river as well, like the river is literally there, and then you've just got this huge pool area, we'll and there's the beach a now, beach there. just past there, yeah. That's pretty, this is cool. This is so cool, I'm glad like I said, Australia continues to impress me with its outdoor spaces. Oh. Well, that's a really nice temperature. The sand's like proper sand. They've obviously imported it from somewhere. This is such a cool idea. And the great thing is, normally when you walk into the sea, there's also like rocks and stuff, but there's no like rocks and pebbles. You don't have to worry about like fish and sharks and stingrays and jellyfish. I thought Kelsey was starting to look a little bit too relaxed considering we were in a new environment. So I decided it was time to give her a sneak attack to keep her on her toes. <laughs> <laughs> that was mean! We're at a spot called Kangaroo Point now. It's got a really cool view of the skyline, the CBD area. The Botanical Gardens just on the other side of the river. And then the river just flows that way is the way that we've come from. And... And... Yeah. We want to head over to the city centre, which is just across the river. But instead of walking across the bridge, we're going to catch a free boat. And it's just arriving. Oh, he's got a name. Taylor. Well, that was We're down on Queen Street Mall in the CBD area and it's pretty much just like any other CBD area we've come across in Australia. Just all the same chain shops and restaurants that you've got pretty much all around the world really. But yeah, it's very busy here. There's a lot of people around, a lot of people doing shopping. There is. We don't need to do any shopping today, but it is a pretty good place to watch. I don't know what's going on over here, but Kelsey thinks she's got an idea. It's sort of like a cardboard sale that we'd have back home, but basically you can bring like a suitcase or a bag of a bunch of things that you want to sell and basically just find a spot, empty it out and then people can buy it off you. Literally anyone. Yeah. Like, you've literally got everyone just to sell out with a suitcase full of clothes. Yeah, I feel like this is like the perfect thing for like backpackers to do because yeah. you can just like get rid of clothes and get new clothes as well. Yeah, exactly. Time. Such a good idea. There is loads of people though. We're just surrounded by these really modern buildings and then all of a sudden you've just got these like old fashioned buildings, especially this huge one behind us. With a little clock tower, it's really cool. And I don't know where Cassie's going. Is this the reality of how big a kangaroo is? Because if it is, I don't think I'm going to get this close to one. It was time to get out to the city centre and embrace some nature. We wanted a hike to a cool lookout and that's exactly what we found. Oh, whoa. Hello. That's nuts. The view is insane. <laughs> oh, it's windy. Very windy. This is the view. Okay, the wind seems to have died down. We found like a cool little spot. That's where the lookout is, just up there. And then there's a cafe here, and we're just sort of chilling on this like seating area, I guess. Yeah, we did. I was just saying, that it's mad how small the CBD area looks in comparison to when you're down there. The city seems so far away, but it didn't feel like we walked that far to get down here. No, 
know, I think it was, was it like an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes maybe? Meanwhile, back in the city centre, the sun was setting and the city really lights up at night. It was exactly how I imagine it's like in Kelsey's dreams. This place is a dream. I feel like I'm in Tinkerbell's house. And every time I see a tree with pretty lights on it, I'm always like, wow, I'm a pretty tree. This is like pretty tree heaven. The man-made beach and the pool are still open, and it's half seven. It's pitch black. It's dark. Like, there's a couple of lights maybe in the pool and, like, around, but, but it's, like, night time. There's just loads of people just chilling on the man-made beach and so in. I feel like there's a massive debate, Melbourne v Sydney, Sydney v Melbourne, but I think everyone's sleeping on Brisbane. This place is really cool. I think Brisbane's probably one of our favourite cities. The next morning, we jumped on a train and headed an hour north. We went to Australia Zoo, which is owned by the Urban family. This place was 110 acres of pure happiness. There were Komodo dragons, crocodiles and dingoes. They even had rhinos, zebras and giraffes. But there was another animal that we were excited to meet. I am so excited. Like I can't even like express how excited I am. Hello. Hey, buddy. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. <laughs> oh my god. They're so gentle. Scratchy scratch. Well, the bottoms are quite chunky. Yeah. Like the top's quite thin, but the bottom's quite chunky. Oh. I don't think you're ever going to get bored of doing this. I don't think I am. I I'll think, just stay here all day. I think we'll have to go get more food for you just to hand it to all of them. Food. This is so cool. I'm never going to get bored of this. We could have stayed feeding and playing with the kangaroos all afternoon, but there was another animal that we were just as excited to see. We've both never seen a koala before and I think after the kangaroos this is probably the other one that I'm most excited about. After seeing how cute and feeling how soft the koala bears were, that's all they seemed to want to do was sleep so we decided to leave them to it and we had to see the Wildlife Warrior show. He's going straight back to the water, the shortest distance possible. And that's because that's where he knows that he is the boss. We had the best time at Australia Zoo. As a matter of fact, we had the best time in Brisbane.